Hi, I'm Taka. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Yokan. Yokan is a traditional Japanese sweet made of red bean paste, agar, and sugar. It's solid and it's usually shaped like a block. There are two types of Yokan Neri Yokan and Mizu Yokan. To make Neri Yokan, you add more agar to make it solid like hard jelly. Mizu yokan is softer than neri yokan, and the chilled one is usually enjoyed in the summer. Neri means to be kneaded, and mizu means water. Many neri yokan contains a lot of sugar, so they usually last more than a year at room temperature. Some yokan are sold as emergency foods. I think it's good to eat it before workout, because it's high in calories and low in fat. Originally, it was mutton soup derived from China. It was set with gelatin when it was cool. It said that yokan was brought to Japan by monks from the 12th to 16th century. Monks made it using soybeans instead of mutton because they were vegetarians. I'll introduce yokan from Toraya. Toraya was founded in Kyoto in the late Muromachi period, so the company has survived around 480 years. Toraya deals with traditional Japanese foods, and its major product is yokan. I think it is the most famous yokan in Japan. Some people hand it as a gift to you, so you understand you are treated an important person, or he or she has got bad intentions. I recommend you to eat yokan with green tea. Green tea's bitterness matches yokan's sweetness. I bought five kinds of small yokan. Plum blossoms in the night, remnant of the past, new leaves, honey, and tea. I tried to translate them into English, but I don't know if it's correct or not. Some product names can be interpreted in different ways. Before I try Trias Yokan, I will try the Yokan I bought at the supermarket. It contains 60 grams and its price is 51 yen, about 46 cents. Itadakimasu. It's so good. The texture of red beans is good. It's a standard yokan we usually have. You can get 6 pieces with the price of 1 yokan of Toraya, but the quality of the product is good. The company's technology to develop the yokan within its budget is amazing. It makes tea time fun. The first one is plum blossoms in the night. It's a sweet red bean flavor released in 1819. You can see red beans at the cut end of the yokan, and they are expressed as plum blossoms. Each flavor contains 50 grams, and its price is 292 yen about 2.65 US dollars. I got a 10 piece pack, so its reference price is 3,240 yen, around 29.37 US dollars. Itadakimasu. This one is plum blossom in the night. It's so good. It tastes strong and so sweet. The taste of the red beans and the sugar is condensed. It's simple, but it has a hearty taste. They only used red beans, sugar, and agar to make it. I understand why they used finest ingredients. You will have to use other ingredients to cover the flavor if you use cheap ingredients. Tea time becomes fantastic with this. I recommend you to enjoy it with green tea. The second one is remnant of the past. It's a brown sugar flavor released in 1915. 
People may think of their past self when they eat this snack. Toraya uses the brown sugar produced in Iriomote Island, Okinawa. It is located in the southern part of Japan. This one is remnant of the past. It's so good. I agree with the product's name, remnant of the past, because I ate brown sugar sweets when I was little. The brown sugar goes well with the red beans. The taste reminds me of the scene I hurried up and went home in the red glow of a sunset, since the dinner my mother cooked was waiting for me. The third one is new leaves, and its flavor is green tea released in 1957. Third one is new leaves, matcha flavor. It's good. The green tea flavor is strong like espresso coffee. My image is summer leaves and they grow thickly in deep forests. It's strong and powerful. This one is for green tea lovers. The fourth one is honey, released in 2008. Clover honey produced in Canada is used as the main ingredient. Fourth one is honey. So delicious. The white bean paste matches honey well. It tastes like dark color honey. It must be good with black tea too. A Canadian honey is used as an ingredient and that reminds me of the Japanese classic hit called Love Letter from Canada. I don't know why, but I hope it won't be a strong earworm later. The last one is tea flavor, released in 2011. The tea leaves produced in Kumamoto are used as the main ingredient. The white bean paste is mixed with ground tea leaves and kneaded well. The last one is tea flavor. It's so good. The white bean paste is also good with black tea. It's strong like Assam tea. It must be fantastic with tea with a lot of milk. It's a popular drink in Japan, and we call it milk tea. You can enjoy it whether it's cold and hot. I hope you like the yokan with tea with milk. I reviewed Toraya's yokan today. The yokan I bought at the supermarket was good enough. Some companies must produce it to lower the price, so we can enjoy yokan at a reasonable price. I'm thankful to the company. Toraya's yokan is excellent. I think many people buy its products as gifts, and not for themselves. They pick the finest ingredients and make yokan with experienced skills. Thank you so much, and that's all for today. If you like my video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Mata ne!